Women literally have no friends, only associates. Can we be honest for once? Women are always pulling rank on each other. Is she prettier than me? Envy. Is she less attractive than me? Ego boost. Women literally use each other for their own motives. What, dude? I feel like they've just been watching way too many trashy movies. That's the only thing that makes any sense here. Out of all the women I've ever met in my entire life, none of them just hate each other for no reason. Welcome back everybody, hope you're doing amazing, and I hope you're ready for some Not How Girls Work. I've been thinking about this video all day long, I'm so ready to read some lies. I'm not gonna waste any time today guys, let's get right into it. Enjoy! Oh, show me a female that can leave her phone around her man unlocked, because she's not doing anything wrong. I will wait. What, you think every female is cheating on their partner? Is that what you're implying? Lying? You only have to think about that for like 30 seconds to realize how silly it is. I am a freaking sword master. Oh no. Swords out of stuck together whiteboard markers. This is the worst thing that could happen to us as a kid. Girls can't relate. Why can't they relate? <laughs> Girls can't make a text a sword? With some of these posts, I can sort of understand where they're coming from. But then there's posts like this one where I have genuinely no idea. Warning! Wearing yoga pants may lead to lesbianism. <laughs> Another one that makes absolutely no sense. Yoga pants may lead to lesbianism. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know if you're just really confused or you don't know what being a lesbian is or you don't know what yoga pants are. Can somebody help me understand this? What point are they trying to make? For a woman to remain a virgin before marriage, is both psychologically and biologically important. Scientists have discovered that a woman who has relations with multiple men have come to retain the male's DNA in their brain, thus causing her to take the male's behavior patterns as their own and causing psychological imbalances, such as panic attacks and depression. Women who have multiple relations with men has caused them to lose the ability to pair bond, thus unable to stay married and ending in divorce because there is no attachment. What scientists are saying that? Unless this person is a self-proclaimed scientist. No, <laughs> no scientist is saying that. It's all just so offensive and so icky. You might want that to be true, dude, but it doesn't mean it is. On r slash funny, a funny and factual Tinder post. Don't swipe right if you're a single mum. If you were a cat, she wouldn't have left you and the kid. Like, yeah, okay, I guess. It. There's a bit of a joke there. If you were any good, he wouldn't have left you. Not a good thing to have on your Tinder bio, though. I don't think this is meant to be taken seriously. But yeah, it's not very funny, and it's not true, obviously. How boys tell a story. How girls tell a story. I am one million percent the second one. I start talking about something, I start thinking about something else. <laughs> but we eventually get to the destination. There are so many dumb stereotypes on this subreddit. Like, all girls cheat, all girls hate each other, girls talk too much. None of it's even right. <laughs> oh yeah, the point of a period is to make the woman want to get pregnant by making her hurt with periods. Oh guys, I don't even know what to say anymore. Where are you getting this information, guys? And why don't they question it? They must either come up with these ideas or they hear it from their friend or something and they wholeheartedly believe it. All women are lesbian and straight at the same time, so they're gonna want some change, right? Excuse me, dude? All women are lesbian and straight at the same time. Oh my god, I think I might have found the thumbnail. Honestly, at this point, I'm just thinking about wholesome memes. What women actively talk about politics, haha. -ha. I mean, beside ones that are in that field, but none of my friends voluntarily want to talk about that. Yeah, dude, and that has nothing to do with your gender. I hate politics. I never talk about it. It's not because I'm a woman. So many random assumptions on this subreddit. They're not able to really, uh, you know, do the solo diddly. As women do not have, uh, you know 
know what? It's just a myth from the media. So women can be seen as comparable to men. <laughs> oh, dude, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> Why would you out yourself like that? Oh, buddy, I feel bad. But also not at all because you could have just Googled that. Do women have, you know, it would have given you a definite answer. It's so frustrating how avoidable this is. Attractive women who are 30 and single are completely to blame for their situation. When they were in their early and mid-20s and in their prime, they had unlimited options. They ran the dating market and they had all the leverage. They got constant attention from guys left and right and got to pick and choose who to date and who to sleep with. But what was their mindset? I'm young and I want to have fun. I'll settle down when I'm older. What a stupid mindset to have. You don't sell your stock when it's on the decline or at its lowest. You're comparing women to stock. <laughs> you want to cash in at its highest so you can get the best return. Oh, this is so gross. They should be settling down in their prime when they have the most options to pick from. Not when they're 30 and their value is rapidly declining. But they think that they'll always be able to attract high value guys forever. High value guys. Oh my god. They don't think they'll ever hit the wall. They want to eat their cake and eat it too. That's not the expression. And then wonder when they're 32, where are all the good guys? How can you feel sorry for someone who had all the options in their prime and youth, but squandered it because they just wanted to have fun? It's like feeling bad for a trust fund baby who went broke because of bad financial decisions. Oh my god, that was awful. <laughs> oh, what did we just read? Not when they're 30 and their value is rapidly declining. So you base a woman's value on what? Purely how they look? Is that what they're saying? Either way, I really hope you sort this out, dude. This is such a bad mindset. We're about to learn some girl code. Hmm. Equals she's mad. I'm fine means definitely not true. It's whatever means a lot. Oh, okay. It's not okay. K, you pissed her off. Are you okay? Making sure you still care. I'm sorry. She actually feels bad. Sorry, she isn't. Yeah, I think we should do one more, guys, and then it's wholesome memes time. My brain is melting right now. Actually, when girls hang out, they sacrifice their older siblings to the devil in hopes of gaining immortality. That would be really interesting. I'm so happy we're ending this video with a joke. My grandpa telling me the same story for the 16th time already. Me trying to act interested because he's awesome and deserves a lot of love. Oh, that's so nice. But also forget grandpas. I'm already doing that. I'm sure I tell the same stories to people all the time. When I meet a stranger for the second time in the same day at another location. What are you doing here? Guys, that was so much fun. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. There's something I really love about not how girls work. I think it's because the people think that they're right and they're so confident that they're right, but they're just so not. It's sort of addictive. All right, let's do the comment of the day, which goes to Jonathan. Neckbeard tries to defend his actions by saying all men do it. Me, don't throw me under the bus. You're on your own. Oh yeah, 100%. Not all guys are like that. Just like when the nice guys are talking about women, not all women are like that, dude. I've never needed Simpsons more in my entire life. Have a beautiful rest of your day, guys. Have a wonderful night. If you want to follow me on my Instagram, feel free. That's my face right there. Speaking of my face, I should really do some more face cam videos. Let me know down below if you'd like to see that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.